Hello, everybody. How you all doing? You're welcome to your favorite TV show, App Close Olio, Max TV, Sports Entertainment, and more. My name is Marshall. Follow me on all social media platforms at Ohenibo Marshall. Today is 8th May. Tomorrow is 9th May. That's Mother's Day. I want to give shout outs to my mom, Margaret Asemenua, inside, uh, inside Bronx. Okay. Yeah, move from Bronx to uh, San Diego. Okay. So, mommy, I love you so much. God bless you for all the hustle you. Yeah, you've been through because of me. Shout out to all mothers as well. Mothers who's been going through a lot, especially the single mothers, Charlie. God bless you. God protect you, give you long life. Okay, so you already know you're welcome again to your favorite TV show, App Close Olio Max TV Sports Entertainment and more. Today on the show, I have us another legend in the studio, and we are going to talk about his story from grass to grace. You know how we do on App Close. We bring you your favorite stars to talk about their story so you can also get to learn a few things from it and then, you know, start something with it with, on yourself. Okay, you already know. Don't fly sexy for everybody out there. All you have to do is just pick up a phone and call 0541004202 inside Accra Newtown, Angola Street. That clothing, they will hold you down. Stay tuned, don't go nowhere. When I come back, I'll introduce my guest, and you already know. So, welcome back. If you're just tuning in, you already know you're tuning to your favorite TV show, App Close, all your Max TV, Sports Entertainment, and more. My name is Marshall, and today on the show, I have a doctor, <laughs> an Afrobeat artist, uh, a reggae artist, Afro pop artist, a soul artist. Yo, <laughs> one artist who is a doctor and can do all these songs, man. Trust me, today is gonna be awesome day because he's gonna tell us his story, how he became a doctor, how he became an artist, and the whole lot. He's won several awards. He's traveled the globe. Yo, not to waste too much time. Let me say, welcome to App Close, Mr. Nilante. Thank I guess you. boss, how Respect. you doing? Cool. Go <laughs> When your legs don't work like they used to be before And I can't sweep you off of your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheeks? And darling, I will be loving you till you're 17. Sorry, your name be, be huge when it comes to the Ghana community. Nilante. Yeah. I know someone like uh, Nilante Van der Poel. Yeah. Nilante, <laughs> like they're big men. Are you from the royal family? No, actually, you know, the, the Nilantes are usually like the firstborn oh, of the Odatis and, okay. and stuff. So in the clan, when, you're, when you have a firstborn, it's called Nilante. Okay. Mm -hmm. so where exactly were you born? Were you born in in Jamestown or Accra or where exactly? Okay, so I was born in Africa. <laughs> and then I was born in Ghana. Okay. And then I was born in Jamestown. Jamestown. Oh, but, okay. You know, um, it's it's a total thing. You know, Ghana's trees, Airways, northern northern stuff, Awuza. Mm. I mean, we all they become together. Together, yeah. To get the right force. Mm. You know, so yeah. I mean, listening, looking at you and then reading your profile, you, you have a doctor, uh, you're a physician, right? Yeah, physician. Yeah, I mean, how was your growing up like? Because it, it would be so weird for me to know a doctor who is also a musician, because these two, two different work. Um, I mean, yeah, growing up in a normal family, uh, everybody was like, yeah, one told you, it's an OFA doctor, it's an OFA neck, it's an OFA pilot, we know it's an OFA God, you know, but I always had at the back of my mind, I guess she, the music would play a big part because um, growing up, uh, um, I was always attracted to to music and the mm. performance of music. You know, mm. I could I could listen to a lot of uh, my old man CDs, records and stuff. Me, okay. And listening to them, uh, in Nakashi, it was having a, more of an impact on me than all my friends who were also listening to okay. music mm. also. Okay. She, okay. Me can both yeah. You can hear your show, you know, mm. when I, they say, when they listen to it, oh, okay, what do I have for a ball? What do I have yeah, for yeah. me? She, me, whenever I listen, I want to take it to another level. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure I'd, I knew there was something wrong, you know, okay. I think it was, it was a... You know, them bishops and things, they go call them the calling. The calling. <laughs> yeah, man, because I was being abnormal in the way I was appreciating music. Okay. You know, I'd listen to music and 
I'd call the friends and what I assembled, what I okay, what form band? Mm-hmm. Okay. I bring the idea. Oh, my yeah. band leader. My at, at what age was that? That kind of thing. You know, I'm, I'm talking about like six, seven Canadian. Whoa. Oh, and, and so it was, it was abnormal. But but no, see on a Canadian, where were your parents? Were they agreeing to what you were Oh, I'm a Hoshin, I'm a Nani Okay. You know, so it was all underground. 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 Bully. Yeah. So, and then my mom made the mistake of introducing me to a lady, a Jamaican lady friend of hers mm. who was in Ghana at that time. Actually, Mrs. Grace Nati. I think she's, you know, blessed memory. And okay. she was she was a teacher of people where they play pianos. Okay, okay. You know, my mom took me to her. Okay, mm. she, she should teach me how to play sankun. I mean, I, was, I got very interested, you know, mm. and, and I started learning how to play the all these recite, you know, piano things mm. and classical music mainly. I would try handle, I would try back, and I can need be. Yeah. And I was in Achimota too, you know, as, as okay. time went on, I That's went to you Achimota. Went to and, then, and then, you know, sometimes I would go up music school uh, upstairs. Mm. You know, I try piano a few years, and I can need be. So okay. the, the interest was coming up. Mm. And then that's where the problem happened because Pro- and <laughs> 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 time, and I can see, no, but it is more music here, Carefully. too much. Mm. You know, no, then they started trying to cut down on it and Charlie. It's on numerous numerous clashes, you know, because of music sand in there. Charlie mm. sometimes got so nasty, you know what I mean? Really? But But no me or your school. Yeah, no me and your no me and your school. Uh, it was it, it sometimes it got very, very heated on a bunch of um my mom was undecided undecided she mm-hmm. was like it's small music here, small music here. it's money in the you are just money in the you know sometimes uh, in the background uh, there it had me encouragement feel feel mm. you know i remember like my first recording session uh, into the studio i was like ah it's on my drop coin i mean i wasn't working you know and it was the old lady who actually gave me local nikian studio, uh-huh, okay, studio owner wow. you understand and then I was able to record, okay. but kept by the now blast bomb of an idiot. Like, it don't want to be more said, it don't want to be more said. Charlie, you want to be, you want to be Bob Marley, but 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 what was it because uh, you were not paying more attention to school? No, I, 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 I mean, I was going to school all right. I mean, but I and think, your grades I think, were good in school, yeah. I mean, somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Somehow the grades do went bad, so I think okay, she, that was that was the thing, you know. In got square, where was it? In the Giants, okay. In the Achimota, oh okay. In the University of Ghana Medical School. Wow. Mm, that's it. No, no, no. Um, I mean, okay, she tried to thought if it. That's what they thought mm. because as a then, you know, musical, uh, you know, we couldn't really point to. A lot of musicians who had made so much money, money and yeah, things exactly. like that. And every parent tells us money in, in like she their Indeed, child has some future on a bunny chance. So I understand. I understand mm. what was happening. I mean I mean I would wish the same for my kids too. I mean yeah. but um, well, were you the only cha- child? I had a I had a, a, a brother. Okay. She he passed just you know. Oh. So oh, pressure about Campbell on a few. Mm. Those, those times like, he was alive. I mean, fine. Okay, those times. But was him, he my bro was, was was a hard nut when I went to Chile. Different level. Yeah, rebellious few. I'm going to give you one more and I can sit down. When I when I want control. Control. Yeah. 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 No, so yeah, most of the pressure came to me, can you be? But I mean, it's all good. I mean, looking back on things there. Uh, mm. Yeah, I mean the the learning to be a doctor and and also practicing med, um, music here. Mm. They've 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 they help each other. Yeah, they do. You know, but somehow. it's two yeah. different things, two different courses. Because music needs a lot of time. Yeah. And doctor also needs a lot of time. Yeah. Well, were no the time you were in school, were you still doing music? Yeah, I was. I was in Cairo. I, would, I would, sometimes I'd run away from school mm-hmm. and go and be in studios. Can you be yeah. in record? The link of medical school LA was very rough because sometimes uh, I just get tired of the whole thing and I just move to my studio, especially you know, two people who mentor me were Nate Azu okay. and Kesami Ruth Sanabu. These were like people who had been in music, I reached the highest of heights. You know? yeah. Sami Nukwesa was like the first reggae musician, African reggae musician to play at Reb, um, Roots, to play at Reggae Sound Splash. 
So okay. I mean, these were like strong guys. Strong guys, uh, like yeah. And I used to run away to go and hang around in their studios, kind of mm. be, you know. And sometimes I'd come back to the school and and I don't know say I A. No me why you know I A. In the pocket you have your beer name. Interim assessment. I yeah. A. You come back and then they say Charlie tomorrow there's an I A. I'm like where? It's you know studio. You know, I don't know. I just go to the <laughs> studio and things. You know. <laughs> yeah, but more me, so I'm mm. so, so unconventional means so I can cast me can it be but it all so, worked it, out. It, so when you were in school and you were doing the music, I yeah. mean Leake okay me like your your mother introduced you to someone who was showing you how to play keyboard. Yeah. Was that the was that the place where you, you learn how to write music? Hello, somebody actually taught you how to write music. Okay. So what happened was I, I remember growing up there, I used to whenever I, I there were there were record plates in the house. Okay. So I always used to like reading rec- uh, the the lyrics. Okay. Okay. And so lyrics became something that was how the lyrics they rhyme. You know, mm-hmm. something 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 but so mm-hmm. something 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 at mm-hmm. something 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 <laughs> cat. Cat. Yeah. So I, I I started picking up all those things, okay. small small nuances mm-hmm. in songwriting, you know, and then when I met Azu. Okay. You know, Nate Azu. He's, he's in the States now. Mm. United States. And um, when I met him, uh, he 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 was like, no, guy, I think you have something. Mm. And I don't think it's cool for you to just keep singing covers, yeah. which people have done. Because no me, I've been in your school uh, sometimes they uh, would have would perform in the school band, but it was all covers. Okay. Oh, I try old no, music covers. Band, can it be? And can said what time o'clock can it be? Oh, okay. You, know, you guys can, from the yeah, band. Yeah, yeah, man. That's in the, the medical school. <laughs> Wagus. Wagus, man. Hey, you know, exa- no, that was um, Achimota. Achimota. Exactly. Oh, okay. So, so um, this Azu guy said, no, ni, I think you have the talent to take it to the beyond place. that. Mm. Um, he thought I could sing. Yeah. But I never enjoyed listening to myself singing, man. I can, up to now, for the I hardly. In small morning, born hit way. Like I don't like listening to myself on on on, on so recordings call, 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 and watching call. myself in videos and things. But I just, why? Because I, it has to inspire you. you know? I just no no to... man. I just, <laughs> you know, I think that perhaps, eh, mm-hmm. you know, growing up there, eh, I always had this weight problem. Okay. Whenever I they see myself, I'll be like, no, actually, uh, if you jo- <laughs> 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 so I really don't like watch myself and things, uh, and then when I hear my voice, like when it's like ah, some way. no, my voice not be mm. ah, Charlie, no, my voice not dead there, my voice. So I really didn't like listening to myself and those kind of things. But Nate was like, no man, you have something, you know. Yeah. So he was the one who told me, Charlie, need try to write your songs. Okay. So he started like putting me through the mill. Can't think, like when I go to visit him, he's like. Okay, Charlie, I need a song. Try write some lyrics. Mm. Try and write a verse. Okay? Okay. Then I start small, 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 mm. small, 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 small. But then I start writing. So after the writing, there I go start, I go credit Nate Nate Azu for, for that thing. Wow. You know, Azu, yeah. Wow. Nate. So when you were in the medical school, yeah. who now introduced you into the mainstream? Like, okay, this time you're good. You go with your vocals. You like listening to yourself. Uh, now let's take it to the next. Stage. Sami Nupese. Oh. Sami Quist. Okay. <laughs> Ruth Sanabo. Uh. <laughs> he was the one who spoiled me for the music inside. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> he was the one like, okay, let's start recording. You know that okay. kind of thing. You know, so he had a small tracker in his house, mm. and he would record us. And I mean, it was a whole lot of us. Me and Ke. Can take guys come here? Can you be? I mean, okay. you know, yeah, man, guys. way back then, yeah, you know. Mm. So we started. He was the guy who actually started bring me into like record. Let's okay. see about recording and let's see about releasing. Mm. So yeah, that was Sami. But Chris. why are you majoring more in reggae than the Afrobeat and the soul? What happened was, you know, growing up here, there was there was a lot of reggae in the house. Okay, you know, my 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 brother used to listen to. I mean, roots, roots, roots. reggae artists like mm. Burning Spear, ke, yeah, Ita uh, Lights, ke, mm. maybe Scat Lights, ke, um, um, Wailers, ke, you know, yeah, uh, Mighty like Diamonds DJ. and things <laughs> like that. I mean, these were roots artists, yeah. you know, and that exposure made me begin to like reggae because anytime I'd listen to them, even as a kid, mm. I would hear things like 
Christopher Columbus. Ooh, he said, yeah. damn blasted. Like, I'm like, who is Christopher Columbus? Then I remember that in school, they mentioned one Christopher Columbus. Mm -hmm. I was like, ah, isn't this the same guy on the recording I'm listening that yeah. they say he's a blasted liar? And now my teacher is telling me that he's, a good guy he's, the, he's the guy who found America. <laughs> and see, so it set my mind, you know, then I start to read around and I find out, say, ah, the guy, mm. he'd be like, he go America, say, now people did it already. Yeah. So I said, no, these regular people did it. They, they expose me to a lot of things, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. So that's how, I mean, so, yeah, so that's, 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 that's basically, I mean, I started with the reggae, listening mm. to the old, old man in, 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 in CDs and record plates and things. And then, funnily, one artist who I really liked following was Luther Vandross. Yeah. Luther. Because of the way he sings. Yeah. For me, his voice, for me, Mm -hmm. if, if you talk about all time sing all time great singers yeah i take luther van ross because in voice just be too nice he's unique yeah too nice he'd be like <laughs> he'd be like silk <laughs> you know what i mean so i was like no so I, I took a great interest in luther van ross and then pop music yeah so i started going to pop a pop, little bit yeah. so i go a little bit in pop and i go a little bit into reggae Maybe. a little bit in pop a little mm -hmm. bit. and then when i went to
we started making conversation okay started making comments and if you know zap mallet is is he's a laid he's, back he's a laid-back person mm. so it takes time for you to exactly. break into his <laughs> thing you know then gradually we started becoming friends mm. and then you know so he was like doing mainstream, mainstream stuff i mean yeah, yeah it was producing commercial the music hits, you know yeah. i mean all the Danettes, yeah, all the Lord Kenyans, all them people, you yeah. know. So, yeah, so gradually I was in, I, I got entangled with Zap Mallet and he became one of my best friends. Oh. So, up to now, Zap Mallet is like Your one of my best, best, he's like my big brother, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, man. So, so he, he probably is the one who, okay, paved the made way for you, commercial, you know, yeah, okay. You know, so, he produced like, one song for you, or. Oh, plenty. He produced the um, Mika Bono, the remix, the, the okay. one that everybody knows about, okay. really. Okay. Um, Lagos to Vienna, okay. you know. But, but who was behind you when it comes to finances? Charlie, it was always myself. Oh, yeah? You know, so... But I know they work at a time. That'd be the school. crazy so thing. So, fees, they take <laughs> <laughs> That history has to be written another time. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean... <laughs> Small monies that they give me make I take survive. Uh, and I they make sure say they put some aside for music. Okay. Sometimes too, I they really they put pressure on my mom mm, for music. For you music, know, Charlie, yeah. I go pressure on my then go drop some coins. So if I add that one to this one, then, you then go I get something. something. Then you know, always, always are the big producers. <laughs> so Charlie, don't worry, don't worry. I go it find happened. something come. I go find something come. You know, <laughs> like so. So I've I've always financed the mm, music myself. Yeah. Until let's say the time when. The only time I had a, a almost something going where I really had like a, a proper setup with set financier was when I was working with Talal. Oh, you know, okay. Uh, okay. That was, he, uh, he supported you. Yeah. And then he shot a but, video for but, you? He, um, Your he, first video? Uh, Bo- no, no, we didn't shoot. We, I don't remember. We didn't shoot a video for that. Okay. We didn't shoot a video for that. Okay. But then um, subsequent songs. So the, it was when I was working with Zap Mallet mm-hmm. that... I started doing songs like mainstream, mainstream, mainstream. and then videos okay, started so what, coming what, in. What was your very first video? I think my very first video I shot was um okay, so with Talal with Talal, I think I did a um uh, the Money Can't Buy Love video. With him. That yes, was his song. But that was his song. Okay. But with that so that was I think the first video I was on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then yeah. but I think my first video was Rocky I think it was Rocky Road. Rocky Road. Yeah, it, it was on the um, Love and Revolution album. Okay. And um, it was a song that I dedicated to the memory of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Oh. And Dr. Kwame Nkrumah is actually someone I don't I don't play with at all. Yeah. Because for me, for me, his vision of a united Africa and uh, an Africa in which there's equal opportunity yeah. for everyone Mm. to achieve his his or her own greatness yeah. you know at the bottom of it all equal opportunity yeah, not that always. we always should be paid three cities <laughs> or we always should be paid hundred cities yeah. but there should be the opportunity for everyone, everyone to achieve what he can achieve so he made school free yeah. he made education um, and, mm. and health care free th- those kind of things yeah. so that you go fit go school and Go to where you two you exactly. go feel rich. Yeah, yeah. If you know feel rich far, well, that's one that's, cool. Yeah, and even with that one, self, he had yeah, other something, yeah, other opportunities. Exactly, where, other yeah. kind of schools mm-hmm. where you go feel enter and learn some trade mm-hmm. or some technical stuff and things like that. So for me, he was like he's like my 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 everything when it comes yeah. to politics. <laughs> that was your very first video, right? Yeah, man. So oh. that was Rocky Road. So Rocky, Rocky Road. Road was dedicated. To the memory of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Can, so can even in the anywhere? Big... Can I get it anywhere? Oh yes, it's um, Rocky Road. I think is on YouTube. It's on YouTube. Would you mind playing for the fans for them to see your very first appearance? <laughs> yeah, you you like to play? It? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, no problem, I mean, Charlie. I mean, Rocky Road. Let's... Yeah, man, Rocky Road. <laughs> Rocky Road. You know, right? Yeah, yeah. Rocky okay, Road. Okay, <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm here with Neil and We are talking about his story. Let's take a look at his very first video, Rocky Road. We'll be right back.
never lose your confidence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Surrounding us, political spirits and demons. Yo, spitting false teachings and sermons. Trying to make us lose a sense of purpose. But it's time. 